And now for the Monero development segment. Aloha. Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. It's currently snowing, which is so weird here. Oh. It was literally 80 degrees outside, but I'm doing pretty well. well. You sure you sure that's snow, right? Wasn't there like white, white powder falling down and on people in uh well i don't know what it is i'm currently inside so you see that on twitter <laughs> yeah i saw that like um the, a bunch of dust from from the cars <laughs> i thought on twitter like a bunch of like theories around what it was people told people to stay inside apparently i'm yeah there's a lot of stuff going on <laughs> <laughs> shit man get a filter <laughs> Close your windows. Close your oh, windows. We, need, we need you. We need you. <laughs> All righty. Take it away. Well, yeah. Um, today we'll be going over uh, multi-signature in Monero and pretty much why uh, multi-signature is important. Um, if you're not familiar with Alphabay or the news around Alphabay, Alphabay was, was one of the largest um, darkneck markets, period, a couple years ago when the first one got shut down. And then Alphabet 2 came back, essentially. And people now suspect that it is also down. Like, you know, there's no evidence that it's, like, been hacked or they exit scam. But pretty much the exchange is not currently working anymore, which is a, a problem. If you had your money on the exchange, you were using this exchange. And problems like this, when you have a centralizing party, isn't really peer-to-peer, -peer, right? Because that's not the point of Monero. The point of Monero is to be peer to peer, and, and this is a, I would say, a ma majorly like a technical issue. And the reason you can't do like true peer to peer marketplace like this is because of Monero's lack of multi signature technology, essentially. So just a quick overview: Alpha Bay is an online market that went down, and they they held the customers' funds, things like that. So customers and retailers on the platform can get their money out, but this issue isn't specific to just darknet markets right is any market this is something that we face at anon shop this is something like if you use like monero market.io they also hold the customer's fund to ask act as a middle person but when monero gets multi-signature that's easy to use this issue will be solved so let's go a little bit over that specific point um first what is multi-signature probably most of the walls you use today just have one key and pretty much the the idea is that you hold the funds to your keys, right? So only one person controls the keys. For example, if Doug has a Monero wallet for Monero Topia, he controls the keys for that wallet, right? So one key, one wallet. What multi-signature does is that it allows you to have three keys that control a wallet. For example, let's say you had $10,000 in, in Monero and you, and you did want to trust all that on one key. What you could do is actually split those keys across Oh, split that money across three keys. That way, in order to lose, lose this money, you would have to have um, two of the keys sign the transaction, for example. And you can do any type of keys, right? You can have like three out of 10 multi-sig where you need three keys. But the most popular form of multi-signature is um, two out of three keys. So you would need two out of three keys to release the funds. And you might be asking yourself, how does that help um, marketplaces right now? Um. Well, in a, in a normal marketplace on the left here, you can see that pretty much the users give their money to the marketplace and the marketplace holds all the funds, right? But let's say the marketplace, not it, let's say the marketplace gets hacked, right? They do nothing wrong. They, they get hacked. That, that would mean that all the users would lose their money, right? Everyone loses their money because there's only one key holding everything between these funds. But if you go to the right and you want to have multi-sig, you could imagine that instead of putting all your money to the store, you would simply do a two out of two out of three multi-sig. So for example, in this case, the person on the left would um, be able to get, well, person on the left would basically put their money in the wallet and all three people will be able to spend from the wallet as long as they get agreement from two out of the three parties, right? So let's say there's a hack and the store goes down. Well, that's not a big deal anymore because the store is only one person out of the two out of three. So the people still using the peer-to-peer -peer platform can still get their funds out, essentially, right? So it sort of protects people from when things go down. And once again, I want to be clear that this doesn't only affect dark markets, right? This isn't just something that affects um, dark markets. This is something that affects any market. And our shop experiences this. Local Monero has this issue also. 
and then also Monero Market.io has this issue, right? Because if, if you don't have multi signature, you can't really have peer to peer transactions without the, the store acting as a middle person, essentially. So I'm sorry about going too fast. Any questions from? No, this is this, this is great. good stuff, man. I mean, uh, I, I don't want to throw a curveball at you, but what do you mm -hmm. what do you think of uh, Rhino? Have you been keeping your eye on that? Ooh. <laughs> they, that's they, literally they, coming they, up yeah 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 they figured out multi, like they are doing multi-sig on monero yeah yeah so monero yeah, they are it's not easy to do multi-sig but uh it's, if you're binary it's... you can do it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but you're right so we're gonna get into that in a couple of slides so i'm gonna pause that question for now but that's a really good question wow yeah, yeah you're plugged in um but so there were some problems with Monero multi-sig. There was a bug released about a year ago where if you, like, let's say one of the people using it was malicious, just they will be able to create the wallet and the address in a way that they could steal the funds, essentially. So big issue. Um, there was a, like, responsible disclosure around this. People were like, hey, your money is safe if you don't use this type of wallet. Don't spend from it and then until we get this patched. But... As Doug hinted at earlier, Rhino is a company that their main business model is offering multi-signature wallets on the Monero network, right? So there was a $10,000 bounty they put out, and I believe that bounty um, plus community members were, were able to patch this bug and get it running. And, le and like Doug said, Rhino is able to do um, multi-signature. They're like a sort of like a, a web wallet at this point. So it is you, you do have to trust the software that they run on the web wallet. I don't think they have a desktop client yet. I think it's only web wallet. But you should check them out. Really cool stuff they're doing. It's really cool that they were able to put a lot of money to get this um, issue patched up. And also, you can currently do a multi-signature on the Monero command line also. But like, obviously, that's not easy, right? If you want to go spend money on Monero market, you don't. You don't want to require your customers to be able to pop up a command line and do all this fancy stuff. So what we really need is open source, verifiable multi-signature in the Monero GUI. And that's coming soon-ish, pretty much, right? There's literally a pull request sitting in the repo right now where someone has done the majority of the work to integrate multi-signature into the GUI. But they want to just wait until it's less experimental, you know, make sure there's no bugs. Make sure it's very secure before they put before they open it up to regular users. I would say, so that's pretty much the development going on. Like a major thing right now, if you follow dark markets or any kind of marketplace, and you really are a big fan of peer to peer markets, this is gonna completely change the game. Once Monero gets multi signature in the GUI, and I, I want to be clear also, this isn't an issue that just affects Monero. I believe Zcash also lacks shielded multi signature transactions in the in a GUI format right now. And they, they don't even have like hardware wall support for shielded transactions. So Monero is definitely leading the space when it comes to privacy coins that have multi-signature support. And so that's it. It's just hard when you're building new, new technology, right? You have to do so many integrations. It's very difficult and takes a lot of time. And that's pretty much the issue. And that's the one thing that Bitcoin has over Monero right now is simple multi-signature support but like without privacy none of that really matters honestly in my opinion you know <laughs> to each his own but that's pretty much a i guess overview stuff, of the man. yeah, yeah. monero dev support like we need multi-signature is coming it'll take time but once it opens we can build so many cool things on monero dude fantastic job as always <laughs> um yeah i'm excited for for rhino mm -hmm. um it's it's pretty cool because you know i just saw somebody tweeting today like you know crypto is never going to be adopted because you know people can't or it, it's never going to be adopted in a pure form right people are always mm -hmm. going to rely on centralized uh whatever exchanges and wallets because otherwise it's too difficult to use but mm -hmm. rhino is kind of the perfect example of yeah. where you know the experience of using it is really no different than signing into your bank account right yeah. Except in this instance you always have control of your funds the bank can never run away with them and they can't see how much you have in your wallet but you're not worried about, oh, am I going to lose my hardware device? You know, whatever did I write down? Like you can, you can rely on this pseudo uh, centralized company that can mm -hmm. provide you a service in a decentralized way where they ultimately don't have any control. So it's, it's a really nice sweet spot in user experience once you start doing things like that with multi-sig and Monero. Yeah, I just want to be clear. 
it, it, it is a big step in improvement, but I think currently they're only a web wallet, so there's a lot of security issues around that. But it's it's much better than um other web wallets, definitely, and it's pretty cool for more extra also. But it's, it's not just like a is, is that the same security you would get from the Monero GUI if it had multi signature? But it's definitely a big step in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, yeah, but yeah. It, it meets that sweet spot of usability, oh, yeah. right? So yeah, it's a mm -hmm. web. You're, you're logging into it on a browser, just like you would log into your bank, right? Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, as long as people don't steal your password, uh, it's effectively as secure. I mean, it's open source, right? So it's mm -hmm. not like you're you're trusting Rhino Rhino Bank, right? Um, mm -hmm. So it's 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 pretty interesting. It's, yeah, it's uh, really cool stuff. It does meet a nice sweet spot in terms of usability versus uh, still using Monero in a, a decentralized way. Yeah, I mean they're really cool people. They put, I mean, ten thousand dollars to fit a, to fix a bug is like amazing. So yeah, they obviously are onto something here, right? It's not just <laughs> well, by, yeah, yeah, it's it's run by Binary, who's amazing. I don't know if you're, familiar, you know, he's one. Of, oh, one Binary of, Fate. Yeah, I didn't even know that. What's yeah, such yeah, a small yeah. world? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. So, uh, <laughs> He's, uh, we're trying to get them. They'll probably be at the conference. Uh, we've been we hope so. we start yeah. talking to them. So we'll have them maybe try to get them to do like at least like an update, like a 10 minute lightning talk on it. I'd love to, you know, the I think that'd be good. Talks. Yeah, just keep <laughs> well, for them, just to get, get the word out on what, on what, what Rhino currently is today and where it's headed. You know, I mean, of course. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know they were binary fate. It's such a no, narrow space is such a small world. Everyone's working together right. and like all, especially with the pseudo, like the an anonymity factor. Mm -hmm. There's still people who I'm like, oh, that's you. I had no idea that was you. <laughs> <laughs> that was it's really cool. Funny. Yeah, that's and it's funnier in person. You're like, oh, you're the person. Yeah. <laughs> Behind that username, but then you get used to just calling them by their username, even though you know their name. How's how's a non shop going, man? <laughs> oh, it's it's going really well. We're getting more orders. I'm just trying to do um better promotions on Twitter. We're about to hit a thousand followers, so I'm really excited about that. Nice. Well. You're, you're killing it on Twitter. Even <laughs> even uh, these presentations are so pretty. Like where'd you where'd you get that? That was AI you're using to make your quickly make your art. Oh yeah, the AI art. <laughs> I've um, used Mid Journey. Yes, yeah, so I'm yes. trying. It took a while to get used to that. Yeah, <laughs> you're spitting out good stuff, man. So good. Um, thank you, man. Anything else you want to mm -hmm. throw out there for this week? Um, I think that's it for development. I'm really excited for Monerotopia. I'm super excited for the next person up, Fyro. I mean. Hero? Yeah, I've, I've read their their papers. I'm is, yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm like, it's gonna be so dialed in for this interview. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here, <laughs> st uh, stick around if you can. You have a stick around. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, stick yeah. around if you can, because then we'll we'll bring you up uh, for questions and stuff. You could ask him some some questions you have. Ooh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, awesome. Sweet. Thank you so much <laughs> thank for you, doing man. the report. Yeah, appreciate it. All Amazing right. contribution to the show. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.